is Sonia Miller with Jug Monkey Paint Company, and it is Friday. Fry yay! I wonder who started saying that. Like, who came up with that idea? It's Fry yay! But I like it. Hopefully, for you, this weekend means maybe getting into some like um, paint projects, to some DIYs, doing a little bit around the house. Maybe you just want to take a rest and just like read a book or binge watch on videos just like these, right? Whatever fills your happy bucket. Go do it, I say. I'm just easing into the day here on Friday. How can you not be happy when you look outside and the sunshine is out there, that fresh breeze? We had such a downpour last night. Anybody else see rain in their area? Like it rained buckets. If you are on my Instagram, you will see in my stories, I posted um, some, video, uh, some video of me sitting in a car while Matt was inside running and grabbing things. And it just poured and poured and poured. Everything just feels so fresh. I was just saying to Kate here at the shop this morning that hey, you know what? If your car sat outside last night, then you don't even need to pay for a car wash because mother nature pretty well took care of it, right? Speaking of Kate, Kate, is that you? <laughs> I spoke your name and you appeared. <laughs> like magic, like magic. So guys, I got some magic this month. I titled this video Scrapbook Kit Unboxing, but it is more like a scrapbook kit, not boxing, unboxing, un, un enveloping and on parceling whatever you wanna call it. So if you've been following me, you guys know that once a month I get a kit from the scrapbookingstore.com, yay! And you can use Junk Monkey 10 if you are interested as well. Um, when you go to scrapbookingstore.com, just put in Junk Monkey 10 in the discount box. And what happens is because you are my banana bunch, my peeps, they have so kindly allowed me to pass on a discount to you guys where you can save 10% off of your order, which is pretty darn cool. So mine just arrived for the month of February. There are always themes for every single month. I love it. Uh, and because, you know, you guys know that I'm like a shabby, vintage, time-worn, antique kind of lovers, kind of lover, um, their, their scrapbooking kits like never disappoint me because it like fits the vibe. So if you love what I do with color, but yet, you know, sometimes muted, sometimes vintagey, you know what I'm talking about, right? Like this is, this, this is an awesome thing for you. I'm going to put it down here so you can see as I pull it out. I was just thinking as I sat down here at this, uh, fold out table that I got at Walmart a few weeks ago during our live stream challenge where we went live for 30 days, I actually redid the top of another one that I'm using. And so now it's time to go ahead and do this one as well, right? It just looks what I call brownie frowny, or in this case, it's just, you know, used and tired and paint covered and anyway, it needs some love. So stay tuned because here on our YouTube channel this week, I promise you, we're going to go and we're going to give this table a flip as well. So you're going to want to see that. If you missed the first one, this one will give you some great ideas. So I love it because I love it because look at this. This is my pack of papers for the month and it is Valentine's, right? I'm gonna open these and go through them. There's all kinds of goodies in here. I love it. They give you like a little bit of everything in your kit. Um, and I think there's also like a way that you can upgrade to get more as well. But there's all kinds of like embellishments in your kit, right? You can use it different ways. For me, even though I'm a furniture painter, I love, love, love uh, mixed media. And I love incorporating it into my decor, into my furniture. And so this is a beautiful quality paper, right? So when you're looking for paper that when you put it down and you're like, is it going to crinkle and that sort of thing when I put it down, because this paper is so heavy, I mean, it's, listen, can you hear that? Like, it's like the designer paper, right? The hard, hard paper. When you put it down, it stays in place really nice. So for me, I use a lot of my papers when I'm using it on furniture, I use it with Mod Podge to be able to get it down. Watch this week, because I'm going to use the papers in here to redo, um, to redo my tabletop, okay? So, but I also love, because you guys know that I have a junk journal, right? And I love to journal as well. I'm trying to think, where's the last place I put that thing? So a lot of times, of course, when you're junk journaling, it can like scry apart, right? Like really, really fan apart. So I always have to go looking for this thing. So I'm like, where did I put that to? Oh yeah, I stack like a million gazillion books on it, right? I stack like an entire organizing unit on top of it because I like to put the pressure on it to be able to, you know, have it sit down. This is actually the cover that I did here um, as well. I'll share with you guys the tutorial on how I did this cover. You'll find it here on YouTube or over on my Facebook channel as well. Here's an example like I haven't built up this page just yet and I still have the photos to go on it but I put my scrapbook paper down first and um, I can build up from there right it gives me great interest in the background makes it look really interesting 
And so anyway, I've got to continue to work on here. So on my channel, you'll see me work on these as well. So stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe while you're here if you enjoy hanging out. So anyway, all that to say that basically, you know, the scrapbooking kit that you get is so nice because it arrives at your door. It is super cheap and it arrives at your door. It's beautiful quality. She always picks, like hand picks the most beautiful um, work. And she works with designers, right, to, to be able to pull these packages together. So she's got that really great eye for vision. So thank you, Jennifer. Jennifer is a small, other small business lady entrepreneur creative entrepreneur and uh, she is based on the West Coast right so you're supporting somebody another woman owned business here in the US which is amazing so okay so regardless whether it's on furniture whether it's in my mixed media on decor whatever I'm doing making cards I mean think about all you guys out there like you get so much so the other cool thing I love about it is the fact that like it's always dual sided so i feel like i get more right so even if this month let's say for example i'll use this next page as an example but look at this these are all little cards that i could cut out and use into my junk journal um i love 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 i'm somebody who saves things i'm somebody who saves things i'm going to make that be my question of the day today in my vlog question of the day is are you a saver as well meaning that you're somebody who just um, you know, you're sentimental over things. Maybe you hold on to your kids' artwork. Um, you have photos that you love to preserve, or even if you still have them in a bag right yet, yet, and you just haven't had a chance to put them into an album. But you just, you just somebody, you're somebody who takes care of those things. You know what I mean? Like you feel like you just, they're treasures to you, and you're not somebody that would just throw them out. They bring you joy. Okay, they bring you joy. Question of the day: Are you a saver as well? And uh, what do you like to save? So look at this, guys. Already, do you see that? Two sides of all different things. But here's what I was saying. So say, for example, this is hearts. If you guys can see it up close right now. These are beautiful, beautiful, like vintage little hearts, sweethearts. But if I did not make use of this for um, like the month of Valentine's with any of my furniture or any of my decor that would like, you know, fit this month or it doesn't make sense to have hearts on it, which I don't know why it would make sense to have hearts on it because that's a year round thing. But let's just say for an example, maybe this was Santa Claus's or you know what I'm saying. On the back, there's always like something else that's amazing. So this is just a little floral design right here. And that is, that's universal, baby. That's like any time of the year. So I never feel like even if I get something that has a theme for the month, because she takes care of me and I know on the opposite side, um, you know, oh my gosh, I love this. This is called Romance 6, two-sided paper. Oh, I love that. So this is another example, right? It's got hearts. It's got pink stuff, all that good stuff right here on this particular um style but on the back we got some pure stripes baby just some pure faded black stripes and you guys know i love me some polka dots i love me some stripes love me some shabby roses hello oh my gosh aren't these pretty let me see if i can get it up here so you guys can see it such pretty tiny fragile uh shabby roses and then we got these diamonds on the back love it oh my gosh Look, I love this month. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Oh my goodness, we're going to be doing so much fun stuff with this on uh, our YouTube channel YouTube channel this week. I got beautiful, speaking of polka dots, you know, spoken of, but polka dots, but guess what's on the back? Distressed pink wood. Distressed pink wood. You know what I'm saying? Like, I do this all the time. Oh my goodness. February really is the month of love. Look at that lace, faded lace. Who loves this one? And then we got some brick on the back. So you get what I'm saying, right? You know, you can do like lovey-dovey stuff and have a very cute, shabby chic or go with a little bit more classic roses, whatever you want. And then there's always like, there's patterns, but I'm standing up now because I'm so excited. I'm gonna share my, with my friends, with you guys, all these awesome things. Then there's always like some, what I call like just the foundation papers, right? The stuff that's the classics. So you got the color theme going on, but it's like, this is the stuff that you can pair with anything because they are just your color, right? They got texture on them, polka dots, and really cool pinstripes. Oh, I love this. The other cool thing I'll definitely say is when you get it as a kit, you never have to wonder if the papers you're pulling out of a book it fits together because they always fit together no matter what you pick because it's a kit, right? Somebody has taken the time and the thought to like pull the colors together that just really go well together. Oh, I love this. This is like stickers. This is cool. These are, I think, no, they're, they're punch outs. That's what they are. You can, you can kind of see them right here. Do you see how they're open right there? You can just like pop them out. And these are awesome. Oh my goodness. So cute if you're making gift tags for people. You know, there's just so much joy that you get when you do this yourself. There's something about playing with pretty paper 
and I'm um, having fun with it. Oh my gosh, I love this. So this is an example of how you get other things in your kit as well. And this one this month, she sent me the accent stickers. I'm pretty sure, guys, that, um, yes, no, I'm pretty sure, I know, guys, that if you order now, like what happens is uh, there's so many kits available for that month, and then as long as you order before that month is out, you will get that kit if you obviously order it before it's all sold out. So just go to the uh, scrapbookingstore.com and then at checkout use Junk Monkey 10 to save 10% off your uh, kit. And you can like do a kit where you pay once a month, where you pay for I think it's like three months at a time, six months at a time, and to have that delivered to your door and somebody who like pre-picked all this, um, that is like priceless to me. So look at all these accent stickers on here. We got little Oh my gosh, we got a fox and flowers and all these. Look at these. You can see them. The llamas on here. Oh, I love it. What do you call these things right here? Are they hedgehogs? What are they? Porcupines? I don't know. Do I hear somebody? Hey, Matt, yeah. you're a good judger of uh, these characters. Can you come tell me? Is this a por porcupine or a hedgehog? Or tell me, is a porcupine a hedgehog? Which one? What is this? Is this a... That? Yeah, what is that? That's a hedgehog. That's a hedgehog. Now I'm wondering, is there a difference between a hedgehog and a porcupine? Yes. There is? They're in the same family. They're just different species. Okay. All right, what else we got here? Washi tape book. Yes! Yes! Washi tape. And it looks like I got three sets in here. Washi tape is this really cool removable like designer tape. And people in the scrapbooking world use it because it's so easy to be able to make use of. So this is great. You can see how long it is right here. Perfect big long stripes for if I'm putting it around my the edging of my scrapbook and things like that. In fact, I'll show you how I use edging. This right here is washi tape that I have around the edges. You see how I put it through the center of the book right there and you see some more over there. So it's just a great way for you to, you know, jazz up and embellish your page. But the cool thing is that you can put it on and then you can like peel it up and reposition it. It is so awesome to work with. Okay, and I think this is the last thing that I have in here. It is, oh my goodness, it's called um, Crepe Paper La La Love and it's 44 pieces, 44 pieces of nothing but glitter hearts. Oh my gosh, and look, there's gift tags in here which are great for scrapbooking, which are great for giving. Um, oh my gosh, isn't he cool? He's just the bee's knees. Oh, I love it. All right, we can open all these in a little bit. We'll, we'll create with these right here on our channel, so keep watching. The other thing I have to tell you is that there is a giveaway. Okay, you saw it. You, you guys saw it in the title. So, no surprise, right? We like to do fun things on here. We like to do giveaways and share with our Banana Bunch friends. And so, I'm so happy to say that my friend Jennifer at thescrapbookingstore.com, she has said, would you like to do a giveaway to your followers, to your Banana Bunch lovers out there? I'm like, heck yeah. So what I'm gonna do today is based on my question of the day, have you thought about it yet when I asked you, are you a saver, a preserver, and what is it that you like to keep? And maybe tell me why below, okay? And what I'm gonna do, is on my next vlog, which will be up on Monday, I am going to come on and I'm going to read out, maybe I'll read a bunch of your comments, but I'm gonna read out one comment and pick one lucky winner who will receive a scrapbooking kit that will be mailed to them, all right? So what I'm gonna do is make sure you're gonna be back here on Monday when I go ahead and announce the winner, and then when I do, I'll be making contact with you and, uh, and shouting out with you how to make contact with me so I can get your address and we can get you all hooked up with your very own scrapbooking kit of the month. And with that, I am off to make and create. Wasn't that fun to be able to get into this first thing in the morning on a Friday and like just get your day started right with some coffee and some beautiful scrapbooking papers? So I will see you guys again on Monday. Like I said, expect, expect vlogs here all week long, Monday through Friday. And there might be a few uploads on the weekends if you keep watching as well. Thank you so much for all of those who have subscribed to my channel. If you enjoy what you see here, make sure you subscribe as well. I would love you forever and hit that little bell button as well. What that does is it notifies you every single time I do another video upload and there's gonna be lots. And so this week I know alone that we've got lots of materials to work with. I've got lots of projects planned for um, every single day next week, including this tabletop that I've decided also that also needs some love. So stay tuned for all of that. Thanks for watching guys. Go bananas out there today, will ya? See ya.